Hi guys, welcome back. I'm back already. I need you to make a circle on your stone and then uh, and then you can start what I'm doing right now, which is taking a fine lining brush. I do have a tutorial for these. Check them out in the description of this video or in my video list of 200 and what, 95 videos now? Almost 300 videos. So I have outlined my circle after using a compass, but you can find like a circular lid, uh, anything that you can to make a circle onto your stone because inside the circle, we're going to do the artwork. The outside, we're going to leave. I like to show off the background of the Lake Superior stone that I'm painting. I don't want to cover the whole thing up. Um, so yeah. I want to show that off a bit and depending on what you're painting on you don't have to you can just paint the whole thing black if you want um, but I like this it kind of gives it a border um, with that gold circle and and then we work within that so I'm doing good how are you all I have missed you again I'm glad to be back again I do have another tutorial ready to go that I will be editing um, shortly after I post this one. So look forward to another one in probably two days. How about that? I'm doing the best I can guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already done it. I've sketched it out. It's a four leaf clover or some of you will correct me. I know you will because you have before shamrock. Um, but I call it a four leaf clover where I'm from. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments, okay? Um, I'm outlining it all with gold. It looks really thick and messy, so I am going to do some cleanup. You guys know I do that cleanup part that's really super boring and tedious, but it's worth it. You get everything the way you want it, and then you fill it in with color. So today I will be using dots. So if you're not a fan of dots, you can definitely... Uh, paint your clover leaves white, the petals or whatever you want to call them. If it's a four leaf clover, I'm calling them leaves. Okay. Um, so you paint them white inside and do a couple of coats of white on the inside. And then um, you can like blend it with sponges, the color, if you don't like dots. Um or you can just kind of like blend it with a paintbrush if you feel comfortable doing that uh, with the rainbow inside of the leaves. Because I'm doing a rainbow. And we're not going to do like your standard rainbow colors with those primary colors or anything. They're going to be more spring colors, more Easter colors, a little bit lighter, a little bit less bold, but still quite beautiful. Um, and you can see I'm doing like a little border with each petal because I'm going to incorporate something else in there. We're going to be using dots of acrylic paint. We're going to be using watercolor. And I'm also going to be using chrome powder, which is what's going to go in the border of this four leaf clover. So like who doesn't need some extra luck right now? Tell me who <laughs> I need to meet these people. Um, so I'm just like cleaning everything up. It looks a little bit choppy right now, but I'm fixing everything. I'm speeding it up so that you're not bored. Um, but basically, this process is the cleanup process, and it takes a while, and it's boring. I throw on a crime documentary. Then when it's ready and it's dry, it's time to start adding our color. So these are like the light eastery looking colors that I've chosen to use today. I am going to list the colors in the description of the, the video, but also I'm showing you the paint colors. So this first one is lavender or find a light purple if you just have a light purple. I start off with big dots first, just a couple of them. And then I steal from those big dots and make a whole bunch of little dots using a, a, a needle. Um, it's a, a dotting needle, but you can use a toothpick. So first I go in with big dots, then I go in with little dots. And I'm just gonna do that with each color. This one is, I believe, jungle green uh, from Martha Stewart. Then I'm using lime green. I know these colors just, you're like, what? What are you thinking? 
of course I started with purple because purple is my favorite color, but, um, and look at my nails, they're purple. But yeah, I'm, I'm incorporating some really pretty colors in this and it just reminds me of spring, which makes me happy. And, um, uh, yeah, happy birthday to everybody this month who is also a spring baby. Now moon yellow doing the same thing. I'm doing a little bit more moon yellow because it's going to go on both the top two and the bottom two. So there's a little bit more moon yellow in this. I'm going to now incorporate pure pumpkin. Um, I do have to water down some of my paint a little bit, just a little drip of water in the uh, paint pan uh, because my paint is so thick and it doesn't dot easily. So sometimes just a little bit of water or you can also buy special mediums to make your paint flow a little bit better. So from pure pumpkin to magenta. So we're not going with like blue, green, red, yellow, orange. Like it's not just all those bold colors. They're slightly different, slightly, slightly lighter, slightly more spring-like. So now I've let these dots dry. Don't try to attempt don't try to attempt anything else until the dots are dry. Just leave it alone, walk away, get a coffee. Just leave them because I've too many times wrecked <laughs> my paint. Uh, all my dots have like been smeared because my sleeve dragged across it or, you know, just literally push it away from you and say, I am done until you are dry. And then come back and do what I'm doing now, which is I'm just using two different shades of green in my uh, metallic watercolors. You might have purchased some of mine that I make from my shop, or you might be using Yuli watercolors like I'm using now. I love Jeannie's watercolors. Um, they're amazing. So I'm using these two different shades of green. One's got a little bit of like a turquoise to it, and the other one's more of a goldish green. Um, I'm doing like half the rock goldish green, half the rock the turquoise-ish you know, and it's just going to blend together in the background behind our colorful four leaf clover. And it just makes the clover stand out more, I feel anyway. Um, but yeah, don't use too much water. I don't actually have my watercolor pen filled with water here. It's empty. I'm just dipping it in paint that I've sprayed with water. I find that these paint pens are, they easily like let out too much water and then it's like running all over the sides of my rock and the glitter goes everywhere and I don't want that. So I just dip it in a uh, pan of paint that I've sprayed lightly with water and then it doesn't go all over the place. I can control my watercolor way better and it goes on nice and thick too, as you can see in the background of this. So next, we're going to do the center and the border around each leaf and the stem with UV top coat for nails. I have always been a nail person, so I do my own nails. I don't go to a salon. So I have all the fixins at home and I incorporate them in my rocks. Why not? Um... Tell me that there's a rule there that says you're not allowed to do that. And I'm not listening to it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using this UV top coat using a fine lining brush as well. I went all the way around the edges in the center and in the stem. I put it under my UV light for 120 seconds. That's what my UV light requires. You might be using a different brand or a different wattage. Um... You might be using different nail nail uh, UV top coat. So with mine, it's 120. You'll know with yours what you got to do. Um, I cook it under there like a little microwave. And then when I pull it out, I'm able to, with a little makeup sponge, scrub on some chrome powder, which you can buy on Amazon, uh, all over the place, Wish, all these places where you can find chrome powder or mirror powder. Um, it comes in all different colors. This one just happens to be a goldish green. Uh, and so it kind of looks like a gold outline, uh, like a chrome metallic outline. So it kind of gives it like a, a really cool effect. 
So we've done three different mediums in this and it looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to outline the outer edge with black just to kind of separate it from the Lake Superior stone. Um, Cause like I said, I still want, I still want to appreciate that background. Um, so this is going to kind of look like we laid like a sticker on top of it. You know what I mean? But we still see that beautiful stone around it and, and on the back. I'm going to resin this. It's going to have a nice little resin bath overnight. And then I'm going to show it to you. If I'm not impatient, I'll show it to you when it's dry, but I might just show it to you as soon as I'm done resining it. Who knows? Let's wait and see. Well, I was impatient and wait a minute. This is not the one we did together. No, I did the opposites on this one. So that's a little bit different from the one we did together, but that's just another idea for you. I wanted to inspire you, but let's take a closer look at this beauty. We created this beauty together. I think that I'd be happy if I found that at the end of a rainbow instead of a pot of gold. I'm lying. <laughs> I really could use a pot of gold. I loved creating this with you guys. Stay still. Thank you. And I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. Um, I have another one coming. Um, so stay tuned. And make sure you hit the like button or the share button. Uh, that helps me in a free way. Um, so you don't have to pay anything but you are helping me uh, do better on my YouTube channel. So I love you guys. Keep painting. I will see you soon.